are at the top eight for our Ridge of the Abyss case tournament. I am just commentating over this last game of Swiss because they chose to split top four after this. Bunch of betas, but cool, whatever. Uh, right now we have Centurion versus Snake Eye Zamina. I think he's just unsighting right now because this happened right immediately after his game finished. I have both deck profiles up on my channel if you want spoilers for who wins, of course. Yeah, I, of course, I had to speed this up 1.75 times speed this time because it was a pretty long game. So, I think Centurion won the roll and they get to go first. So, my Tradea, Tradea effect, the place. It looks like it might be resolving. Yep, it resolved. Cool. Placing Premier, Premier effect, summon. Effect to add, grab field spell. Cool. This is full combo if you wanted to add previous Premier to it, you could. I don't know if you're trying to play around anything though. Yep. This. So, you can't get Ogre on it either. Play Scargoyle on the scale. Right, if he wasn't playing around like anything, he goes summon Gargoyle, make it a 4, turn them both into Premier's Prima, uh, add Oaf, add back Gargoyle, uh, Oaf, place Autry, Summon Autry, draw a card, and turn those both into any level 12 synchro since Autry can count as a non tutor. It's taking a minute though. Looks like he made it a 8. Yeah. Oh no, he made a 4. Okay, cool, he's doing it. Yep, Premier's Prima, adding an Emblem card. He's adding Oaf. That's where all the draws start happening. First draw, yep. Sounds like he has a lot of engine already, so he could either make the Gaia for the extra non-engine draw, or Auxilla to grab the trap card, which is a really real engine card now. Yeah, if his opponent had any RF trunks, he would have used it on this. Phase, place the Autry back. And that's oh no. And while it feels on field, this back row can't die by card effects. At least face up ones, but pretty strong. He's just rereading everywhere, everything one more time. Yeah, so if he removes any card on the field by a card effect, the level 8 in Gregor will come back. It also can't die by battle if it does that. Oh, so we're starting with Deception, which means that we might see a Blazar here soon. Looks like we need a blizzard. It's interesting that he plays Premier instead of the Autry, but sure. Guess he didn't want to draw for next turn. But he's gonna bond, it's cool. Deception distributing the flame burge. And this probably gets negated, maybe. I mean, I guess you could also just negate the secret as a mean he's searching. I don't think I have a way to get it back either, unless. Yeah, Deception can't add from Graveyard either, so yeah, no. Yep, grab the Sacred Azamina.
Just running over one more time. Activates it. Oh yeah, you just play through this. Or else he gets the Omni Negate with it. Okay, well, you let it resolve. Hmm. So, bang, DML star. As a mean as sending, I'm assuming you wanted to summon Matt. Using the effect to grab OSS. I think if this one dies, you add a trap. And if the negate one dies, you add a spell. Get rid of oh, that's pretty strong. Yep, so he's gonna gain 15, lose 15. I feel like this is the time where you use the sacred as a mean to bounce back the fusion. And then just activate it for the Omni. And that way you get the one to draw before all this. Oh, okay, well I don't agree with this. Because yeah, Squazar can also just negate this, either to summon or the effect. Interesting. Fusion adds itself back to hand. Oh, okay, he has Druid Swarm, interesting. Oh, there goes that attempt to play through that. He still has to deal with Blazar, that's the base start right now. And then he also has the Banish Trap. There's a part showing him the Bell Star cards, so I don't know why he's playing it to Anima, but it's whatever. He still hasn't normal summoned yet. Like in the graveyard, you might see a dark or a normal summon soon. Please tell me that's Emperor Call. Oh, unlucky. Alright, summon Snake Eye Ash. I imagine this gets hit with the swiftest. Negate, yep. Alright, so Wanton might try to draw a card now, or... What could these cards in his hand possibly be for him to play through this now? Oak? Oh, Tract, okay, nice. But Tract loses to the Trap card. Oh, so he's luring in hand. Okay, that's not bad. I like that. You do have luring in hand, right? Oh, ill. What? Check, sure. Dumping a card, but he doesn't have another like fiend, so this doesn't really feel that threatening. I think he let this walk, then maybe just banish the chick. Daniel's thinking pretty hard about this. Ends up dumping engraver. He finally uses Phoenix on the chick. Yep, so you don't get Requiem access. Banish him and then summon it back next turn.
wanted, maybe? I feel like you should have wanted it way earlier. He's close to playing through all of this though. We don't know what the set card is, maybe droplet, but I think he would have used it by now, right? Probably a bluff. What did he just draw? Yeah, that's coming back. Oh, he's just crashing? Okay. Is he going to attempt to play through this next turn? Hmm. Yeah, so Phoenix summons the card back, so he's going to get an extra dump by the Black Premium. Okay, that goes back, sets itself back. Our Auxilla is going to set a place a card. Blazar comes back. Kuma comes back. Oh yeah, that just doesn't matter, honestly. Get only dump from deck. If it could dump from extra, at least kind of crazy. Oh, I guess you can't summon back the card anyways. I mean, this is just game, right? Yep, Gargoyle. Playing this out is crazy, by the way. This just makes another Crimson Dragon. Back to the back. And then swap out for Blazar. Stand up center around, place field spell, place Rodea, bonds, place back. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is just. I don't even know why this bit's so funny, to be honest. This is crazy. Yeah, Anthony, you need to learn a scoop, kid. I know you might have like an Abiru in your hand or something, but this is. Uh, that's crazy that you're letting this play out. <laughs> I'm assuming you have an Abiru in your hand. That's the only reason why I think you try to stay, but like this is just unplayable. This double plays art. Wow, that's crazy to be. Alright, negate. Go battle phase game. Nice. Alright, finally in game two. We have Snake Eye going first. He's thinking really hard. This hand must be some ass. Alright, sitting Ash for DML side. It seems desperate. Permit. Fair, very fair. Summon Oak, okay. Anyways, oh, okay for that, cool. <laughs> Double Emperor, okay. So these two cards in hand must be like hand traps or something. Thinking real hard about this. He just pass. Yep, he just pass. Activate Lubellion, that's pretty strong. And right, Magnumut. I mean this is just Probably game. I'm not sure how you beat that. No draw in sight. Activate Oath. Uh, this is Omega game. In fact, that he's placing Trudea instead of. Yep, yeah, it's just good. Yep, he had Ogre Thrust, so there maybe it was a world where he should have pitched the Thrust into the Ash, but it happens. He gets 